Welcome to our newest webinar series. Uh, this is our ACDI workshop. Uh, this will be a interactive way on a bi-monthly basis. It will be the second and fourth Thursday of every month. Uh, this will be an opportunity for you to come and ask questions, for me to give you insight on all the things new, exciting going on at ACDI. Uh, we're going to learn about all things paper cut, uh, KPAX, storyboard, you name it. Um, every other week, we will have different guest hosts. We will you will oftentimes see myself. Uh, there may be times that you don't see me. Uh, this is geared 100% towards our valued reseller partners, uh, both new and long-time existing partners. Uh, we thank you very much for your partnership. Uh, we want to make sure that we are providing a platform to empower you with all of the tools and resources that ACDI has to offer. Um, we do have a special guest from Papercut on with us today. Um, she, won't be joy she won't be speaking, but we will grab her for another session on in the future. Uh, so the same link they used to register today, you will be able to continue to use to register for future sessions uh, as those become available. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Uh, many of you may have noticed that ACDI launched a new website this week. Uh, as our marketing team works diligently to transfer all of our awesome content over to that website, you'll see more and more things continue to be added to it. Um, when you, this is on the new home page, you are able to find lots of information on several vertical markets for healthcare, uh, as well as all the different collateral pieces that we have to offer. Uh, our dashboard video is here. Uh, you will also be able to see this reseller toolbox here, which is probably the most important, uh, next to our support tab here as well. Underneath our reseller toolbox, you're able to do several things. You can request a free 40-day trial of Papercut. You can request a Papercut demo. Uh, all those come in to me and will be filtered to the respective account rep as needed. Uh, you can also become a reseller if you're not a reseller partner with us. Uh, send in cards for card analysis. Uh, we will talk about some hardware options and hardware services that we do provide here at ACDI as well. And then access to the Papercut Partner Portal, uh, which we'll also cover in today's session. Um, at the end of the call, let's make sure that everyone on here has access to it. If you don't, I certainly can get you uh, pointed in the right direction to get your reseller credentials. So let's talk about ACDI first. So ACDI got its start in 1994 selling coin ops. Uh, so if you've, ever, if you've ever walked into a library, pumped nickels, dimes, quarters into a machine to pay for a copy, then you probably used one of ACDI's machines before. Uh, we still build those in-house here at our headquarters in Benton, Arkansas. Uh, we're super proud of them. They've come a long way. The technology has come a long way. Uh, they now are capable of accepting coins, bills, credit cards, Apple Pay, Android Pay, Samsung Pay, uh, just about any payment option you could think of. Um, and then with the addition of Papercut about 13 years ago to our repertoire of software solutions, in conjunction with those coin ops, we can now use them as revalue stations to add funds to a Papercut account to allow users to use PayPal, Authorize.net, even Blackboard, Seaboard, Heartland One Card systems in higher ed to pay for prints, copies, scans, faxes, just the litany of functionality of your copiers. ACDI is the largest distributor of favorite cut software globally. Uh, if you're familiar with Papercut, either just vaguely or you're an old pro at it, uh, Papercut is now the leading print management software in the world. Uh, there are several comparable softwares. Papercut is just the gold standard. 
what else I want to talk about today. So let's talk about, we're going to focus on paper cut mostly today. Uh, we will get into KPAC storyboard at our session next month. Uh, but I do want to definitely focus on what our flagship product is here at ACDI today, which is paper cut. Um, this is your paper cut dashboard login. Uh, this is accessible from any web browser in your customer's environment. Um, all of our reseller partners that have joined the call today can download an NFR license right from this paper cut partner portal here. Uh, if you do not have Papercut Partner Portal login, that URL is portal.papercut.com. Um, you are able to just reach out to me, shoot me an email after the, after the call, or drop a Q&A into the chat, and we will absolutely get you set up with your user credentials so you can log in here. Once you log in here, you are able to download an NFR for your environment that will be valid for six months. Uh, at that time, you can simply download a new one, install it on top of your existing one, and continue running it in your showroom, in your office, uh, whether that office is in a physical office or you may still be working from home due to the pandemic. Uh, you are able to run that on some machines. It is a wide open license, so you will have access to all of the features that we're going to talk about today and be able to install it on as many machines as you would like. Going back over here, uh, one of the most important things that I always talk about from the screen is that all of these graphics are customizable. Uh, you can even change this paper cut logo to be your customer's logo. Uh, if you're running an NFR in your office, you may just change it to your company name or your company logo here, uh, making sure that it is 100% tailored to your environment. We're going to log it as a minute. Oh, I let it sit there too long. Let me do it again. Uh, we're going to log in as an administrator here so we can take a look at all of the administrative functionality of PaperCut. When you log in here, if this is the first time you've ever seen this, welcome. Uh, this is a very clean overview of your print environment. Uh, it is going to give you your last 30 days of print volume, all of your devices. If there's any error messages on them, low toner, offline, out of paper, uh, if there are no error messages on those devices, then you're going to see a clean just an overview of how many pages those devices did today. And then you're also down here going to see real-time activity. Who's logging into the device, who's logging into the administrative dashboard, who's printing, copying to what device, just running tally in real time throughout the day. Here you're going to see your environmental impact. Any organization with a Go Green initiative uh, loves this environmental piece that PaperCut has put in here. Uh, you can run several reports out of here that run reports on your most green or your most polluting employees. Uh, if you've ever sat in a demo that I've done for a customer of yours, uh, I'll always show that most polluting employee report uh, because it is a funny way to shame your employees on who's wasting the most paper. You're also going to see your system status here, how many users you have, how many printers, devices, total number of pages since you've installed PaperCut. You're going to get a lot of information right on this home page. Also, any updates to the software as they become available will be available right here. Uh, PaperCut puts out about four to six upgrades to the software a year, uh, usually one major version release. Uh, the version coincides with the calendar year. So we are on version 21.1 now. Uh, there are usually four or five smaller updates throughout the year, uh, but they're always adding new features, making it better, improving the user experience as well as the administrative experience. Uh, PaperCut is a just absolutely loved software across both users and IT administrators, systems administrators. Everybody loves the interface with it. When we install PaperCut, we can install it just about anywhere. We can install it on-prem on physical print servers. We can install it in the cloud. Uh, ACDI also offers cloud hosting services where we can host PaperCut MF for your customers and build them as a SaaS model through you. When we install PaperCut on their print server, it's designed to sit on top of their existing print infrastructure. Uh, so the server environment, the drivers, the devices that they have configured already, we're going to install PaperCut on top of that. Uh, we're going to just discover all their printers. We're also going to sync with their directory source. So if they're using Windows AD, Azure AD, Google Cloud Directory, uh, Google Cloud Directory is huge in school districts. Um, 
or even if they're not using one of these already, we can just configure a custom program to load in all their users. This sync allows us to automatically pull in users as they're created within their directory source. It also allows us to pull in several pieces of information that are valid to the ease of use of PaperCut. It allows us to pull their full name, their email address, their home folder, uh, any department or OU group that they may be a part of. Uh, we're able to easily pull all that in. Uh, PaperCut does not pull in passwords. Uh, when they go to authenticate on a device, it'll check back with this directory source to authenticate the user. Importing all these users, this sync happens automatically by default at 12.55 a.m. That is a customizable time frame. That's going to give us this list of users here. We, once we create this list of users, we can do a lot of fun things. Uh, we can easily enable and disable individuals from printing. Uh, if Adam here has exceeded his printing limit for the day, the week, the month, we can easily just come in here and disable him for a specific time frame or indefinitely. Uh, we can create a quota for him and allow some overdraft. We also can define where his prints are allocated to. So this is huge for real estate agencies or law firms or architectural firms. Anyone either billing back their users or billing back their clients uh, really love the feature, this feature. Uh, this allows us to say, okay, we're going to charge to the personal account or we're going to show a standard account selection, which allows for a drop-down menu of a few shared accounts, or even the advanced account selection, which shows all of the accounts and matter codes that are associated with those accounts for an easy text searchable function to assign print jobs for billback right on the workstation. Uh, keep in mind that PaperCut is both OEM agnostic and operating system agnostic. So regardless of the brand of copier you're selling or the operating system that users are used to print from, whether it's a Mac, a Windows, a Chromebook, a laptop, a cell phone, a desktop, computer, uh, PaperCut is easily able to track, manage, and control the printing from all of those devices. Uh, the embedded software application works nicely and provides a streamlined user inter interface for users that may be using a mixed fleet environment as well. So if you have users that have a mix of Konica, Sharp, Toshiba, Xerox, Canon, the list goes on. Uh, if they have one of each in their environment, this user interface will look the same for them across all of those platforms and really sets that apart and makes that ease of use really good. Other things that we're able to pull in here is an existing PIN number, perhaps, uh, an employee ID number. Perhaps they want to use that for authentication, uh, even like primary and secondary card numbers. If those fields are there, we're able to pull all those in. Uh, users can also self-associate with badges. So if they have ID badges or key fobs that they're using in their environment to gain access to the building or even using for authentication on their copiers now, they'll be able to use that same badge system to authenticate and log in and release print jobs from their copier. Uh, users will walk up. If the badge number is not in here, PaperCut will recognize and say, hey, we don't recognize you. Do you mind logging in with your username and password? They'll like, use their existing AD or Google Cloud Directory credentials to log in, and that'll associate that badge with that user for future use on any other MFP in the environment. Back over here, we did talk about the account selection. Uh, my demo is set up for an education environment. Uh, PaperCut was designed for education. Um, it is, as a Google Premier Enterprise partner, uh, PaperCut is the preferred alternative to the end of life of Google Cloud Print. Many of the folks on this call uh, that I recognize have already experienced this, uh, that users have received notifications throughout the end of 2019 when Google Cloud Print went away, uh, that they recommended you getting PaperCut's mobility print feature to replace that product. Um, if you have users that are one-to-one -one with Chromebooks, this is the easiest way to manage those on the market. Uh, PaperCut has also exploded in several other vertical markets 
legal, real estate, manufacturing, retail, health care, by just about any vertical market that uses a copier can benefit and loves PaperCut. Um, PaperCut continues to grow. ACDI continues to grow. We continue to add more staff, add more sales folks, add more engineers. Um, as we get through this, you'll meet several of those folks and uh, learn why, not only why ACDI is the global leader in PaperCut, but also uh, what really sets our support team apart from the other print management softwares in the market. Our software support team wins awards as voted on by our copier dealer channel the last five years running for best software and services provider by the Kanata Report. Built into the software here is about 85 reports. Those two reports can be run PDF, HTML, CSV formats, lots of options here. You can run reports on your users, printers, groups of users, your different accounts. Uh, under our accounts tab, we can even generate invoices for print, copy, scan, fax, breakdown for your individual accounts that can just be emailed out to your clients to collect and bill them for their copier usage. Uh, you also can run reports such as your largest print users report. If I pull this up in a PDF here, you're going to see a clean top-down breakdown of where all of your volume is going, who is doing all that. Also, you're going to see that everyone prints in color. Very few people print in grayscale. No one prints duplex. You easily identify all of the pain points in your environment. You're also going to see the cost of that, the, total, the number of jobs and the total pages. Uh, backing up here, we also can run this very similar report to your busiest printers. So easily identify which devices are your workhorses in your environment. But again, all color, no grayscale, no duplex, and of course the cost of this. Uh, this cost is customizable. Uh, when we implement PaperCut, we set these costs based on the recommendations of your customers, uh, whether it is one cent for black and white and five cents for color, or it's just 25 cents across the board per page. Uh, depending on the vertical market, really just uh, determines what that charging scheme will look like. I did promise to show this most polluting employee report under our environmental impact reports, so here you go. Uh, you can see that Sun McClellan was also at the top of our other report as our uh, top user, so they're also the most polluting employee on this report. Uh, so it will show you the number of sheets, the number percentage of trees, as well as CO2 produced and equivalent time running a 60-watt light bulb on the scanner. Uh, you'll see all this information that just makes it real fun to encourage changes in behavior for your users. So we've identified these pain points. We know that no one prints grayscale. We know that no one prints duplex. So under our printers tab here is where we can start making adjustments to change that behavior. Uh, if we check out this chemistry library printer here, uh, we'll see the toner status. Uh, and then we're going to see the charging scheme for this. Uh, we mentioned the simple one cost per page or a more standard charging scheme. Uh, keep in mind for those large format or wide format copiers, we can charge by paper length, paper area as well. Uh, we can add several line items to accommodate for envelopes, statements, several different paper sizes and job formats that we can configure here and assign charges to all those. <coughs> Excuse me. Underneath our filters and restrictions tab here, we're able to automatically convert jobs from color to grayscale. We can do that for all users or groups of users. Keep in mind those groups of users all come from the OU groups that are defined within your directory source. Uh, if we want to say, okay, only we're going to convert all jobs from color to grayscale for all staff, we're going to convert jobs from single-sided to double-sided automatically for all students. Uh, some other rules and filters that we can put in place here are denying jobs based on the document's cost or a number of pages. This helps us eliminate that fat fingered extra zero or extra nine when someone goes to print 10 copies and they print 100 by mistake. 
Uh, we also can deny duplicate print jobs within a certain time frame. So you can also only allow certain paper sizes, but this denying duplicate documents within a certain time frame allows for the elimination of those trigger happy folks that'll queue up the same print job four or five, six times until it comes out of the copier four or five, six times. Uh, keep in mind that PaperCut utilizes a virtual find me print queue that allows users to release a print job from any MFP on the network. With this rule in place, users won't see that same job queued up in their queue for release multiple times. Uh, if we just set a time frame here, they can only print that same document once. It's only going to show up in their queue for release once. Going back up here, all these are going to create those hard, fast stop rules, those mandated changes in printer behavior. Uh, this will create a pop-up when a user breaks one of these rules that lets them know what the change has been, uh, whether then job has been converted from color to grayscale, from single-sided to double-sided, or it's been denied because they did 100 copies instead of 10. We also can put in several custom scripts. PaperCut calls these recipes, and there are several pre-built in here. And our support team can help you configure them and even create new ones as needed. Uh, we can enforce print policies by giving warnings or suggested changes in printer behavior. We can go green with environmental warnings. Uh, we can also confirm jobs with high numbers of pages, route jobs to cheapest compatible printers. Uh, this really allows users to right size their fleet. Um, as many of you, I'm sure, are aware, single function printers are the bane of any IT person's existence, and several organizations are looking to do away with as many of them as they possibly can. This allows us to put rules in place that say, okay, you can print a 20 page document on this single function device, for example, and anything larger than that is going to be automatically rerouted to a more cost-effective MFP. Uh, this also pushes traffic from those machines that they may have purchased at Staples or Walmart to the machines that they are leasing or have purchased from you. Um, we also can convert jobs with a high number of pages to grayscale, uh, redirect jobs that are black and white. We also can, one of my favorite rules here, is to confirm printing emails in color. Everyone prints their emails in color. And this will create a pop-up that just suggests that, hey, please consider canceling this job and reprinting in black and white. Keep in mind that all this verbiage is customizable. Uh, we do have an administrator at a school district that has a pop-up that says, would you like to spend your next raise on this color print job? Um, other organizations get more cheeky than that or more serious, uh, but you can tailor this wording for that pop-up to say anything that you need. Uh, depending on the organization, this becomes super fun. Uh, going back to these recipes here, uh, there are several others, as you can see from this long list, of uh, doing only allowing printing during a certain time frame. Uh, this is tailored towards an education environment, but I have seen other organizations that set this up so that people cannot come in outside of business hours, uh, perhaps cleaning crew, other staff members, to print for personal usage uh, when no one else is in the building. So all that is just for printing. Uh, if we look under our Devices tab, we can start to configure other applications and other functionality of the copier. Uh, we can configure scan action. PaperCut's integrated scanning functionality allows for seamless user interface to walk up, choose scan, choose this pre-configured scan destination that we've assigned to them based on their user group assignment uh, to a home email address, a home folder, even shared folders or cloud storage. PaperCut's Google partnership allows us to create single sign-on for your users to several cloud storage platforms like OneDrive, Dropbox, Evernote, pCloud, SharePoint, the list goes on. Uh, we can create a token that is verified by an email confirmation uh, to associate that user account with the PaperCut account after that first initial login. Back to our devices list here, we're going to see all of our devices. If we clicked on this devices, then we can also put in filters and restrictions and scripting options that control copier usage. Uh, under these scripting devices, for copies, you may impose a daily copy limit or a daily color copy limit. 
Uh, there are, again, several options here uh, that allow for like no color copying during peak periods, free copying during class time, uh, lots of customizable scripts in here as well. So I'm going to jump back over here to our options tab to configure some general settings and take a look at some of the advanced features of FaberCut. Print archiving is a feature that is built into the software here. Um, if this, it does come off out of the box, but if it is enabled, this allows you to actually take a snapshot of all the print jobs that are done in the customer's environment. Uh, it'll ask you how long you want to keep the jobs for and to stop if free space on the network falls below a certain number of megabytes. Uh, it's designed to not overload their network. Uh, also, allows paper cut allows for full page watermarking, digital signatures, several ways to ensure the security of people's personal information well beyond once it's left the exit tray of the copier. Uh, find a document on the floor or even just laying on the exit tray that someone didn't pick up, be able to pick up that document and see exactly who printed it so they can have those appropriate conversations. I did mention in the beginning of this talk here that uh, you can brand your paper cut. Uh, so not only your login screen and your dashboard here, but also you can simply load a logo here, choose a file, and load your header on the top of all those reports that are pre-generated within PaperCut. That way if you're sending out invoices, if you're emailing them amongst either internally or externally outside of your organization, uh, they are all have your company's logo on them rather than saying PaperCut MF. Under this logs tab, this is where we're going to see the pictures of all the documents that we've collected from our print archiving. Uh, so not only are we connect, collecting all the metadata of the document, we're getting the, the date, the username, and the printer it was printed to, the pages, the cost, the document name. We're also just going to get a snapshot of that as well. Um, a good example, good story of how the use case on this was there was a student at a university that was printing 200 copies a week of this periodic table document. Uh, they felt that was kind of suspicious, so they turned on print archiving. Uh, they were able to see that he was printing 200 copies a week of his fraternity party flyer and just had the document labeled as the periodic table. Uh, another funny example of this is our weed map story. Um, user printed a map of all of the marijuana dispensaries in the San Diego area. and they were easily able to identify that he did that from this print archiving feature. Under this Enable Printing tab, this is our Print Deploy. So this is one of the newer features that was added in PaperCut in version 19 in September of 2019. Um, this is a very easy way to deploy print queues across an organization to make sure that all of the users, regardless of what building or office facility they are in, that they have all the necessary print queues and available printers that are available to them. Uh, this allows us to create zones, uh, one for everyone, with the full IP address range and all users. Uh, we can just assign them the print queues that we need them to. If several organizations choose to just deploy one virtual Find Me print queue across their whole organization, uh, this works really well in an environment that only has MFPs, no single function printers. Uh, they can users are then able to print to this whole virtual queue. Uh, if they queue it up at the Atlanta office, forget to collect it, hop on an airplane, fly over to Los Angeles, uh, realize that they need their print job, they can just walk up to the MFP at that location, log into the MFP and release their print. Uh, more often than not, we do find organizations that have several different print queues configured, and they may have several different offices and want to configure print queues for each office. Uh, PaperCut automatically will update the printers as users move around with their laptops or tablets. Uh, as they connect to different subnets of environments, they will automatically get the printers that we've assigned to them in those locations. Uh, we're easily able to configure and deploy out these printers from one reference computer. So the IT administrator's desktop or laptop device will create all of the necessary print queues, package the drivers for the Find Me 
virtual queue, clone them and save and deploy them out across the entire network from that one reference computer. Uh, this is a very easy way to do that. Keep in mind that your users can still use the Intune, Jamf, by different ways that they're deploying printers, group policy, uh, however they're doing that now. This is just another built-in tool that makes it really, really easy to manage those print queues. Go ahead and check my Q&A here, make sure that I don't have anything in here. Uh, keep Remember that if you have questions as they come up, just drop them in that Q&A tab there and I'll make sure that I get them all covered. I'm going to back up here a little bit. Under this About, under this about tab here is where you're going to find all your license details. It's going to show you the version you're running, when it, the build it's on. Uh, it's also going to show you your expiration date of your current maintenance and support contract. Uh, for any new resellers that we have on the call, your expiration date of your maintenance and support contract uh, can be anywhere from one year to five years from the date of purchase. Uh, that maintenance and support contract gets you two things. Uh, access to all the upgrades to the software as they become available for the term of the support, uh, as well as phone, email, and remote in support from the ACDI software support team. Uh, your users or even yourself on behalf of your clients can call or email our support team and they are happy to help with any troubleshooting, configuration, customization, uh, help with building custom reports if needed, uh, really just to chat and talk about the weather if you want. Our support team that works out of our office here at ACDI and all across Canada, the U.S. and Latin America remotely are absolutely incredible. Um, you'll find that you'll get to know those same people on a regular basis. You'll start to build relationships, and as you call them, you'll talk to the same folks, and they'll know, uh, they'll remember an issue that you've had in the past, or uh, they're always ensuring that they are taking absolute top-notch care of your customers. We do have two levels of support. Uh, there is our advanced premium plus support that allows for first-in, first-out service for your clients. Uh, this allows them the fastest response time. Uh, they call, we answer, they don't have to sit in the queue and wait. Um, this al that also allows them for all the software upgrades. And then there is our basic support package that also comes with that phone, email, and remote in support, access to all the upgrades. Um, they may just have to wait behind someone else that has premium support if they're on a call with them at the same time. Uh, keep in mind that regardless of the level of support that you purchase from us, we are gonna do our utmost to take the absolute best care of your customers again. I'm going to jump out of here and look at this knowledge base. Uh, so all of this that we talked about today is available at demo.papercut.com. You can jump in here. You can try to break it. You can make all kinds of adjustments. Log out, log back in. It's all back to normal. Um, you'll find that the username and password is admin, and the password is password, all lowercase. Um, you can also log in as a user under student and password. Uh, both of those are available. You'll see those both on the login screen, the home screen prior to this one when you check out that website. As you get into the field and start talking, having these conversations with your customers, uh, letting them know that PaperCut is absolutely a solution that they would benefit from, uh, you may come up with some questions. PaperCut anticipated that and created this really cool knowledge base uh, this papercut.com backslash KB. This is a really great place to come and ask anything. Uh, if you have customers that are looking at wondering about system requirements and what is required on their network in order to get Papercut installed, uh, you can easily type that into the search box, find the system requirements tab. Uh, if you're looking to find whether or not some MFPs are supported, uh, you can check out this Find My MFP or Copy Tracking and Control or just search for the manufacturer of, our, of equipment that you're looking to confirm. Uh, for example, you'll find all this list here. Uh, if I just choose one by random, uh, you'll see down below here a list of all of the supported devices. Uh, up 
updated as frequently as PaperCut possibly can. Uh, brand new models may not be here um, in most cases. Um, you can be assured that new models are supported, but always best to check with your ACDI rep to confirm that if you don't see it out here on this list. Jumping back, you can look also search for features. Uh, you can search mobility print, payment gateways, print deploy, integrated scanning, any of the really cool features that we talked about today, uh, you'll be able to search right on here. Uh, you also can check out this ROI calculator. Uh, this is going to show you exactly how fast paper cut will pay for itself. Uh, keep in mind that this is just an example, but if you have your customers put in some information here, the number of students, the staff, the number of school days a year, uh, the average cost for black and white page, color page, the average pages per day, black and white in color, and then really fine tune how they're utilizing the software. Uh, keep in mind that with print quotas in place, this will give you the largest cost savings for your customers. If they say, okay, everyone can print $10 per semester, per month, uh, even a couple dollars a day, uh, however you want to configure those quotas, that is going to give you the largest percentage of savings here and the fastest return on investment. But simple printer tracking and logging uh, results in even like a 10 to 20% reduction in print costs, uh, all the way up to a 30 to 50% reduction with print quotas. Uh, middle of the road here, if we put in a couple rules that change some behavior, you're going to get that 20, 30% reduction in print cost. Uh, scrolling down here, once this is all configured and shown here, you can show the savings over one to five years, so whatever the term of your lease is that you're putting in place. This will show you a graph of exactly how much you're going to save as well as how quickly paper cut you'll recoup the costs they, they spent on paper cut. Uh, so this is a super handy tool uh, that is available right on that knowledge base. I also want to quickly jump back to this paper cut partner portal. This paper cut partner portal gives you lots of insight into several other pieces of collateral. So any collateral that you might not find on the ACDI website, uh, you could always check the Paper Cup Partner Portal for. Uh, you are going to get, there are several pieces of collateral, uh, even the ROI calculator here as well is listed, and lots of videos, PDFs, one-pagers on every feature, different vertical markets, uh, even battle cards against other print management softwares in the market. Uh, if you're looking for talk tracks on how to position paper cut to replace an existing print management software or to sell against it, you can find those here as well. Uh, you always can reach out to myself or your ACDI rep to get those as well. We're also able to find supported devices. You can search the model number from here. Uh, you can access the knowledge base from here. Uh, you also can get all of the manuals. Uh, probably the most important paper cut ma manual is this integration feature matrix. Uh, you will find manuals for every manufacturer of device here, uh, but you can easily check out this integrations feature matrix to see all the features of paper cut, all the manufacturers of equipment, and whether or not features are supported for that brand and type of device. Super handy document to have. Back here. You'll also be able to find your existing customers. Um, you can be able to search when licenses are due. You can find NFR licenses, even request trial licenses for customers. Uh, keep in mind that we do offer a 40-day free trial for any of your customers. If they want to get behind the wheel of PaperCut, maybe that demo was super enticing, that they really liked what they saw, but they want to get behind the wheel and kick the tires. Let's install a 40-day free trial for them. Uh, there's about an 86% close rate on customers that do a trial. So is that 9 out of 10 people that run a trial by PaperCut. Uh, once it's in, already installed by one of my solutions architects in their environment, it's very simple to roll to a production environment and just add, connect the rest of the devices that they have. 
You can download that NFR right here for your showroom. You can also request trial licenses as well. Uh, if you need to generate new ones, you can easily do that. Jumping back to this paper cut portal homepage, there's lots of training available here as well. So I would encourage everyone on the call, if you haven't checked out this training module here, to jump in, log in, check it out. There is training modules on both sales and technical side of the house. Uh, so you are able to do paper cut technical training. You're also able to look at and start training on Papercut Hive. Uh, Papercut Hive is the newest cloud native Papercut platform uh, that was released in April of 2021. Uh, if you're not familiar with Hive, we will cover that in future calls. Um, and also feel free to reach out to myself after the call. Uh, if you, what is really nice about Papercut Hive is three things. A, continuous deployment. No need to upgrade the software, it's cloud hosted, so any all the new features automatically become available. Uh, it doesn't require a print server or any network infrastructure to, to function. It uses the existing computing power of all of the devices, the workstations, the laptops, the desktops that are in the environment to create that print environment. And it is a SaaS model of pricing. So per device per year, uh, it tends to be a very attractive solution to small to medium businesses for print management. This will allow them that secure print release, the reporting, the print tracking, the ease of configuring printing in the environment uh, to all of their users at a very inexpensive cost. Again, we will expand on a whole lot of that. Uh, in our future sessions. So we're about 45 minutes into the hour. Um, I do have everyone for the whole hour, but I tend not to always like to keep it you for the whole hour because I know everyone's time is super valuable. Um, I would encourage everyone for to A, register for the next session. Uh, our next session will be on Thursday, the 23rd, uh, at the same time, same link. Um, that session will be tailored towards half the session will be for KPAC, and which is our fleet management product, and half the session will be tailored towards our storyboard data analytics software. Uh, we will have David Brown as our special guest who will be presenting on KPAC for us. Uh, he is our manager of KPAC business services. Uh, used to work with ECI. Uh, very knowledgeable about the print, about the fleet management space. Um, I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, and then let's offer up one more chance for everyone to ask any questions that they may have. And if not, I thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to continuing this platform with everyone. Good job, Jeff. Any questions? We'll give it another minute, see if anyone has any questions here. No. I do see that I can make every I can give everyone the ability to talk though. You can. Hey Doug Kerner, if you're still on, uh, I'm testing this platform a little bit. Are you able to talk now? Enable your mic and chat with us.
I don't know. I think you're unmuted. Yeah, absolutely. Are you good to go? You can talk now. I don't know if it's my microphone or not. You can't hear me. Oh, yeah, I can. You're good. I got you. Okay. Good presentation. Thank you. How's everything going over there at Sentinel? Uh, it's going okay. Um, I'm just I'm new to the to the to this business over here. So I just started last week. So um, Dan, who is my my uh, boss, uh, had me uh, check this out. It's a product that I'm not familiar with at this point, uh, but I am now. Uh, I come from a, a field service position at Xerox Corporation. So um, this looks like some pretty interesting stuff here. You have absolutely, and. Um... I, I saw your name on the list prior to the, as the on the registration list, and I, uh, I let your sales rep know that uh, that you were going to be joining. So he'll be reaching out to you here shortly, and then he can even schedule a like a one on one training to dive a little deeper with you if you like. Sure. And then, like I said, I mean, we're going to be doing this every other every other Thursday, the second and fourth of every month. So, and feel free to join in, learn about the other products that we sell. We'll continue to dive deeper into paper cut and check out some other features uh, as we go along as well. Definitely. I, I can definitely see how this can come in uh, handy for a lot of places that are wasting a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I, I, you know, I definitely the whole browbeating somebody who's, who's you know, who's spending the, everybody's um, bonuses on uh, making copies and stuff like that should be informed. Definitely. Well, I'm going to go ahead and drop off and grab some lunch. Uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot. You have a good day. Take care now.